Today we're installing a flag holder. It's pretty easy if you follow these steps. Let's get started. This is the best American flag deal I've ever seen. I got it at Costco. Can't get it online for some strange reason. It's only in the warehouses. I'll see if I can find a link to this flag deal. It was $33. One of the things that sold me on this kit was this flag holder. One and a quarter inch cast aluminum. You can't find this anywhere, Amazon, for under 20 bucks. Most likely it's gonna be around $28 unless you get on sale. So let me show you something here. I had to put this cable tie in here. That was about ready to give out and crack. There's another crack up there. Wasn't well, gonna last much longer, so it was time for a new flag anyway. I just weighed this, it's 11 ounces. This is probably gonna outlast the flag, the flagpole. It probably will be on the house a hundred years from now. This is built to last. I've put my new flag in, my old flag holder, just to make sure that I'm in the right place under the house. And that works pretty good. So I'm gonna measure that distance to the deck to make sure I've got it just right when I put the new holder in place. Here's the flag holder I took off. Here's what it looks like on the inside. And this was just breaking off. It was just a matter of time. So I guess I'm pretty impressed that it lasted as long as it did, eight to 10 years. And look at the size of this hardware. Holy crow, that's a serious bolt. We're gonna hold on to that because we can reuse that for some other project. There's four bolts of this plastic holder and there's only three bolts of this, the smaller stainless steel screw. Should be okay, but you gotta wonder why they downgraded on the hardware that much. I don't know if they were overcompensating or what, but jeez. I marked the holes with a mechanical pencil, and then I center punched the holes to give a nice notch to start a pre-drilled hole so that it's gonna make it easier for the screws to go in. I'm using a 3 32nd inch drill bit. That's the shaft of the screw, and it allows for threads. You'll run this into the hole rather smoothly, but you still get the grip with the threads. I like hand sanitizer instead of soap to goop up screws because it's alcohol based and it's gonna evaporate and yet it allows for the lubrication to smoothly put the screws in place. The flag holder is in place, taking some quick seal and filled in the old holes here. And then I'll sand that down and paint it to blend in with the post and this job will be complete. Rock solid flag holder for a beautiful new flag. Thumbs up and comments always appreciated. Thanks for watching. If you're interested, in all sorts of home installations, home repairs, designs of all kinds, making and breaking things. I even do costumes, cosplay, and props. Check out my channel and please subscribe because you never know what you're going to see.